So what if these points related to a survey that we were doing? Let's imagine that I was doing point counts for lesser black back goals as they flew over to roost. And I did a point count for 10 minutes at each of these waypoints. How might we add data to those points? Well, one way of doing that is to uh, open the attributes table. So that's a right click on the layer, open attribute table, and you'll see the attribute table there. There are actually two views. It may have opened in that view there, but down in the bottom left-hand corner, uh, you can toggle between the two views. This is the table view, and that's the one we want to edit. And it's the same editing symbol, the little pencil at the top left. If we click on that, uh, we are able to add a new column. Uh, add column is this button here. It looks like a little uh, bar chart, yellow bar chart on a blue background. So if we click on that one, we can add a new field. We're going to call this field just goals. And the type is whole number. We can't have half a goal. So we're just going to go with whole numbers and OK that. And if we scroll all the way over there, it's added it to the end. And because we're in the edit mode, we can start adding data. So I'm going to add some data in here. It's fairly pseudo random. And we can click the pencil again to finish editing and it asks us if we want to say which we do. And we can close down the table. So now we have a column of data associated with these points, but how do we visualize that data? How do we show it on our map? Well, one way is through the symbology. If we double click on our waterfront points, we'll get the symbology um, options up again. And we have single symbol selected. We want to change that to categorized. We want to change the column to gulls. And we want to change the symbol to goals as well. And this can be a little bit awkward. We want to push the plus to add it in. We also then want to classify. If you classify first, it doesn't work. And we can actually delete the original one, so we only have the green ones. We can apply that, OK it. And now the size of the circle uh, depends on the data in the goals column. So we have more observations uh, at the points with the bigger circles. So that's just one way of, of visualizing our data there. It's actually quite rare that you'll enter data directly into the attributes table like that. Normally, you'll have your data in a spreadsheet in a CSV file. So in the next tutorial, I'll show you how to import data from a spreadsheet.